I'm Jesse Ray Ernster, and I'm going to be showing you the song Last Last by Burna Boy. I originally mixed this song all in the box, but today we're exploring kind of a new workflow I'm having fun with lately and spilling the session out on the console. I thought that would be really cool to explore this record once again in the analog format. All right, let's jump in. I'm just gonna solo the beat. I'm monitoring pretty quietly. I wanna get some balances. I wanna get it feeling good. It's pretty clean, it's pretty punchy and transient right now. I think we can get the kick a little bit more angry by driving the channel. And I can do that up here by just driving the line in. You know, if I really push it, you can hear it just... <laughs> you know, if you don't push it at all. But we'll get some, some, some drive. You know, like the way Dre used to push tape. We've also got some EQ pushing some of the knocky frequencies around 1K on the kick. You know, without clean, pretty 2000s, it's not angry enough, kick that in, get some of the grind, and same with the snare, the snare was, the snare is pretty clean, this sort of rim sound, but if we crunch it, then it becomes this like kind of cool dark thing. And these, so th these percussion tracks, these weren't really hot in the mix. Like, it, I don't know that they were really audible at all, but they really should be. If anything, I regret not like really pushing those up in, in the release. I think those are great. Also, we gotta take a look at the 808s. Let's see what's happening here. A little bit clean, we could drive that channel again as well. And then we can engage a little bit of channel compression to just tighten the transient. We're not compressing for level regulation, we're compressing to shape the envelope of the, you know, the start of the transient point to really help it, you know, instead of boom, boom, you know, we give it a fun, fun, shapes that. Yeah. All right, we have the beat working now. We have the instrumental sounding great. Let's bring Berna in. And as an engineer, we get to the part where the vocals come in. We'd be really tempted to try out some EQ and, and some stuff and see what we need. But I have a feeling he doesn't need much. Berna it usually sounds like a legend on his own without a lot of filtering and without a lot of effects. Let's try it. Let's, let's try a little bit of EQ and see if we can uh, just improve and, and subtly refine uh, his vocal sound. Doesn't need it. That's just the sound of his voice. He's a giant. So we've Unpacked a bit of the tracks individually. We've kind of taken a look at all of the instruments and the vocals in the song. I think as a whole now, we could take a look at the mix bus and add a little bit of EQ there. Um, my favorite for this is uh, Mixland Tilt EQ. There is a 40K high boost that just adds so much sparkle. Let's, let's hear what that does. We're really boosting it. You know. It adds quite a bit of sheen. And if we bypass, engaged, just adds a little bit of that air. This is modeled after a, just amazing, amazing pieces of vacuum tube gear, you know? And it's just shiny. It just sounds good. At this stage in the game, if it's feeling good on the speakers and everywhere else, I'll usually Get the AirPods out and check on the phone. And here she is. Dearly beloved, 
We've got the uh, listen to plug-in. I put it a, a very last in the chain, just right at the end, just to stream the audio to my phone. Pull up the audio movers listen to link that I sent to myself. And then I'll just work in AirPods for a bit and kind of work off of the stream. It sounds great enough to where I can trust it reliably. It's I can't tell the difference at all from the session audio to the stream. It's it's incredible. Bye bye, yo. Bye bye, yo. To the love of my life. 